popping y'all coming to y'all with another reaction video <laughs> so that's something new there i want to give a shout out to my subscribers appreciate y'all man appreciate y'all keep doing what y'all doing keep doing that work i'm gonna keep bringing this work shout out to everybody else everybody shout out to y'all all right we got another reaction video i don't know what's going to happen obviously but I got kind of caught up with the title. Y'all see that? Kill parents, man. Sound like finna grow up an orphan. I kind of don't want to watch it, but I already started this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. But I hate, I hate videos like this. Let's get it. But we're gonna begin with breaking news. Two people in police custody in the ambush shooting of two parents at a Detroit gas station. Off the top at five, that news comes just days after Marche Nash and Benson Lindsay were killed sitting inside their car along with their nine-month-old baby. Ooh, bruh. I knew I shouldn't have clicked this damn video. Damn. Damn. And it comes less than 24 hours after police released this security camera video showing the attack. We want to get right to Sean Lay. He's live tonight. Sean, what are Damn. I don't think this was a random attack, though, man. I gotta let it play. What are your police sources telling you? Sources are telling us tonight that it was tips from the public, tips that they asked for, that led to the arrest of who they believe are the two gunmen who are here on Monday evening shooting this young mother and father. A memorial here outside the gas station growing for the couple. Tonight I'm speaking to the father of Marche, Johns Nash. He feels the need to act because of this, but first he had to watch that terrible video. Did you watch the video? Yeah, I did watch the video. I did watch the video. Put yourself in the shoes of Greg Johns Nash. What? Man, I kind of don't want to see this video, man. Damn. Nine month old baby in the back seat. <sighs> Watching video of this deadly ambush that killed his daughter, Marche, and her boyfriend Monday night. This happened to many families, and now it just happened to me. Marche, a 21-year-old mother of two, was hit one time and killed, along with her boyfriend, Benson Lindsay. Their baby boy, Braylon, was in Marche's arms when the gunman... Wow, I should not have clicked this damn video. Why did you send this to me, bruh? Damn. Targeted the young parents. You think about Braylon and how he wasn't hit? Well, it's a miracle. And we're going to take care of him like, like nothing before. This father says Detroit has a disease, illegal guns, and young people using them for the smallest of reasons. 36th District Court alone has a backlog of 2,500 illegal gun cases. Greg Johns Nash says he has to be part of the cure. To go through these neighborhoods and have the green lights and the cameras and the, you know everything, and people still don't, they don't even care. They, they don't, don't care. even care no more. It's like, uh, it's eight, just some, eight cameras were right there. Right. You know, I pray that somebody or, you know, or even if it's me to get the strength to to save our city. You know what I mean? It just just to stop the crime, the adults, you know, the, the grown folks, man, we need to we, we kind of need to step it up. You know, we need to step it up because I know I'm not, my, my child ain't the only child. You know, a lot of us going through this every day, every day. Mr. Johns Nash also tells me he strongly believes that Marche was not a target of the gunman. Tonight, sources say he may be exactly right. When the gunman ran up here, they had information, I am told, that uh, Benson Lindsay would be in the car alone. When they got here, Marche and the baby boy were also in the car. Kimberly, they still fired anyway. Man, that's usually how it goes, man. Like, seriously, that's why I try to, you know what, I always tell people. 
you kind of got to watch what you do or how you, you know, especially if you're into that world or whatever. I'm not assuming, I'm, just, I'm not saying he was, I'm just assuming or whatever that you're into that world, that the people around you are in danger too. Like, you can't be, you can't, you can't do stuff like this. Right? It's already hard enough that you could have been a random bitch and, you know, <sighs> sitting in the um, car at the gas station. Like, you just can't do stuff like that. But at the same time, the baby, that's, that's, that's good the baby didn't get hit, though. I'm glad they didn't play that video all the way through. I don't want to see that shit, man. But, I'm going to kick your ass for sending me this video, bruh. We got words. We're going to catch that fade. You knew better. Sending me this damn video. Just, I still just cannot believe this story. Hey, Sean, what about the baby, the baby boy that was in the car? Who's taking care of him and how's he doing? It's still remarkable how Marche was holding the baby and apparently she was shot in her shoulder, a deadly shot, but no shots hitting the baby. It truly is a miracle. He is apparently you know, physically fine. He's only nine months old with his grandmother tonight. Do you understand that? She was holding the baby. She got shot in the shoulder, so the bullet traveled through. It probably traveled through and hit her heart. Boom. Stop right there. She died holding her Bruh. It hits me a lot harder because I have a son and I can like ever since I had ever since my son was born born I moved differently like seriously because I know my actions affect him and his mother and whoever else I'm with so I move differently now like man <sighs> that's the end of the video. Uh, yeah, man, that's it.